Oh my god. No way. No way. Well, you guys, this is one of those videos you're just, um, you're gonna have to watch it all the way through to understand exactly what happened here. And, uh, well, all your questions will be answered. Just, uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Hey, welcome back to Duckman Cycles and VW Garage. I'm your host, the Duckman. <laughs> hey, it's really early here in the morning, and as you probably saw from the last video that I got, well, not called, but they sent me an email right about 5 a.m. to let me know that on that day that I could leave for my little trip here. I, I didn't think it was coming up for maybe another week or two, but um, I hightailed it right out of bed, and I, I threw my my clothes together for a trip and put the ducks real quickly in the car. In fact, they are sound asleep right now next to me. They're not even making a single peep. And um, decided I'm going to get on the road as fast as possible. So in about an hour and 15 minutes, I got myself here in the car and uh, we're about to go. I, <laughs> I am just absolutely exhausted. But anyway, I looked everything over on the car. Everything should be good. I went ahead and... Uh, um, I taped the B pillars shut. So I also put a uh, long red rope on the tail of the um, beetle because it uh, does hang past the end of the trailer there. And, and I'm sure that's going to be the probably the very first two things that people are going to comment on. Well, you didn't do this. You know, shut up. Shut up. It is really early in the morning right now, and I really don't, yeah. Anyway, I hope today is going to turn out to be a good day. I hope everything goes over well. We should be at Earl's probably middle of the afternoon. I guess that's it for now. So licky, likey, comment, subscribe. Go to duckshit.net forward slash ccc to subscribe to Earl. You have to subscribe to Earl. Otherwise, you're going to miss out on something. Well, I guess that's it for now. Uh, my mind is a little little bit short because, well, I, yeah, I only just woke up a little while ago. Anyways, once again, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. stop there it is Eleanor's on the way we're about 22 miles ish from home I checked the ratchet strap made sure everything was still nice and snug everything looks good I don't think we're gonna have any problems yep all good to go all right back on the road we go and we got the little ducks with us right ducks Say hi! <laughs> Most interesting cargo <laughs> at the whole rest stop. Here we are, having a much needed pit stop. Skeeter, your head's on upside down. <laughs> that poor thing. The older she gets, the more and more that head leans over. Although once in a while it'll go straight. I still haven't figured that out. I don't know. Just gonna let them play in the grass for a few minutes, get some poopies out of them. I know they're loaded up with poopies. But we are more than a quarter of the way there. Maybe about, well, I'd even say a third of the way there. That's right, we just crossed the, uh, into Eastern time zone. Quack, quack. Go ahead, eat the grass. The sun is hot. You want to go stand in the shade? Let me go move you in the shade. Come on. This is what I get when he doesn't listen. Yeah. Come on, we'll go back to the car. Go. Go. He's fast, but I am faster than him. <laughs> Go. <laughs> in the car. Well, didn't really get much on video, but he went in the car all by himself. And he's going into my seat. <laughs> well, so much for being smart, huh? 
All right, let's get back on the road. More than halfway to Earl's and uh, there is a storm coming through the big bend of Florida so it's shooting up to the northeast it's not like a hurricane or anything but uh, it's being pushed across the interstate this way so essentially it's trying to meet up with me according to what I'm looking at on the weather maps here so we may have to stop and cover up Eleanor now I did bring with me a giant tarp just in case that happened I wanted to try to keep her dry um, as much as I could I didn't put the tarp over her yet, however, because I figured she'd be um, more aerodynamic without a tarp constantly whipping around on the top of the car, also with the ability for the wind to go through the windshield. Now, I suppose that's debatable because it might be just blowing into the car, working like a parachute, you know? I mean, even parachutes have holes in them, right? I mean, the air has to go through them somehow. And I don't know if that's actually helping me, hurting me, or if it doesn't make much of a difference at all. But, uh, yep. There's a possibility we might be coming upon some rain, in which case we are going to have to stop and try to cover that car up, or just wait till it blows over. And we'll see what happens. If it's just a light dribble or something, I don't mind keep going, but uh, it does look pretty nasty on that uh, radar. So, well, let's stay at it. Well, it just started pouring on us for like, I don't know, 10 seconds and then stopped. Typical Florida for you. I couldn't even get the camera fired up in time to be able to show. You can still see there's a little bit of water. <laughs> the road's not even wet over here. So yeah, I'm just about intersecting with the storm right now. I'm gonna look at the uh, radar one more time while I got you guys here listening to me. And um, oh yeah, oh yeah, I could actually see the little blip. You can see it, the little blue dot is me. And yeah, it just touched me. So we just went through a, just a little shaving off of the edge of the storm. Oh man, I hope we can stay ahead of the rest of it. So close. So close to just getting past this thing. So if I can stay ahead of it, we'll be fine the rest of the way. Well, here's hoping anyway. <laughs> now that I've said that, you know how it is. <laughs> All right. Well, are you doing ducks? Yeah, ducks are, ducks are being good. The skeeter's still on again, off again, sleeping, and Boomer once in a while gets up and acts like an ass. <laughs> All right. Well, we were lucky enough not only to get ahead of the uh, storm, but it started to get sunny. That's a really nice thing. <laughs> Seem to be doing quite well over here. We're almost in Jacksonville. That's uh, some 350 miles or so from Pensacola. That's pretty far. And then we got to take a straight shot down I-95 to Cocoa, not Cocoa Beach, Cocoa, which is about an hour south of Daytona, roughly. So I got about another, oh, I don't know, two and a half hours ahead of me or something. Shouldn't be too awfully bad. I sure am hungry, though. The ducks aren't complaining about food, but ordinarily they would be. But Skeeter is just sleeping, and Boomer is actually chilling. Yep. I think we're going to hit the next rest stop, though, because Daddy has to take a squirt. <laughs> well, we had a pit stop for a moment, and uh, right after we got gas, and I saw a friend of mine lives over here in Daytona, who I haven't seen in, it's hard to believe, 10 years. And actually, we met online because we both like ducks. <laughs> no reason other than that. And she said that uh, when uh, she and I started talking together, online she thought her friends were putting her on to something you know that they were making fun of her or some crap apparently i 
was all of the things that she liked, plus the fact that I had ducks and we had things to talk about. Anyways, I didn't have Skeeter with me last time as I came out this way for a uh, computer-related job, and uh, Skeeter stayed home with her sister then, but since Skeeter is alone now, well, she's got Boomer now, but uh, since Skeeter now travels with me everywhere, she finally got to meet Skeeter when I came back through this way. I shot her a text message and said, hey, Makisha, you want to see Skeeter? Hell yeah! <laughs> So anyway, we made a stop for gas, and then uh, she came over, and it was really cool to get to see her again. First time, in, or second time, and in 10 years. Hey, ducks. The ducks are behaving themselves again. They're going back to resting. We're not far from Earl's. We're about, oh, I don't know, 45-ish minutes or so. I've never been down that way before. I just pulled them up on GPS, so I think, I think it's the correct address. It's the right city, anyway. <laughs> Weather is sure looking like crap again behind me. I look in the rearview mirror, everything is black. Looking off to the west, which is to the right, there's all kinds of rain coming in from that direction. And then over to the uh, east, off to the left there, I don't see um, much of anything. It's actually blue skies out that way. Well, hopefully the sky will stay up. Uh, I really don't want Eleanor to get rained on. Uh, today it only had a torrential downpour one time for about two seconds. <laughs> I mean, it was total whiteout, and then it just stopped, just like that. Just like that, stop. I caught the beginning of the storm and I caught the tail end of it coming up through that big bend. It's just unbelievable that that's happened this way. If I didn't stop to see Makisha, I'd already be at Earl's right now pushing the, uh, the car in the garage. So hopefully we'll make, make it and beat the rest of the storm. And if that's the case, boy, did I get lucky. Really lucky. <laughs> There's that rain. Oh my God. Eleanor the rain magnet. Unbelievable. I hope we can stay ahead of it. I got a feeling it's probably going to cross our path and we might sneak in behind it. Or it might just hit us dead on. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, but it sure does look menacing. Oh my. and worse it's getting closer I don't think we're gonna beat it unless it fizzles out I don't think we're gonna beat it I think we're gonna get caught in it that yeah, was one more rainstorm for Eleanor right <laughs> even Skeeter thinks it's funny yeah you're laughing at daddy wow all right it's uh <laughs> directly ahead of us yeah, directly ahead of us. Either I'm gonna be driving through it or it's gonna it's gonna pass and we're gonna drive around behind it. We're already starting to see a light sprinkle on the windshield like a mist. Looks like the roads are already a little wet up here, so it's already rained over here just a little while ago. And the mist we're seeing might be from the traffic up ahead. I think I may have lucked out again and uh, managed to avoid the weather. 
further south I drive, the clearer it gets. I mean, it's obviously not, you know, sun shining. Although Earl says it is. He says it's shining uh, down there, classic car creations. But uh, over here, over here, that uh, big nasty crap um, is all behind us. There's like an invisible wall on this side of the interstate that the storm was having trouble getting past. And that little bit that you saw was pretty much all we got. Right, Boomer? Boomer knows. <laughs> well, we're off our exit. Should be coming up on a couple more turns here. And then we'll be at Earl's. Boomer, what are you eating? You leave him alone for a second and he just starts eating something. Boomer, no. Okay, we are almost there. Hell yeah. This has been a fun ride, a really fun ride. 501.3 miles, she says. She told me to count the houses on the right, but I didn't. <laughs> Oops. Should be like the next one or two. I mean, it's like right here. I'm looking for a sign. I don't know if he has one, but. Your destination is on the right. Yeah, this is it. See it on the mailbox. Come through the gate slowly. Don't want to go too slow, it looks like it might be muddy. Here we go. First thing to do, before we do anything. That's for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I got it. You know what it is already. <laughs> I knew what it was. Yeah, I've been looking at the site. <laughs> Look what Earl's got. There you go. Looks good, Earl. I got a large. I hope it's big enough. I'm going to put a color in that. You're going to put a color in it? Yeah. <laughs> you will be put. Yeah, actually. Come to think of it, I'm going to have to change the shirts up. Version 2.0. <laughs> Awesome, thank you. You bet. Going, Earl. Going good. Doing a little clean up here. <laughs> That's it. We yes. got that all on video. Yes, sir. There's Eleanor. Made it all the way to Earl's shop. 501.3 miles away, I think, is what the final tally was. Yeah, we clocked 550. <laughs> we went to Gibson's place, which he's just down the road from you. So yeah, he's, he's uh, taking a route a little longer than yours. You, you did pretty good. Made good time, and then what yeah, was I did neat, do pretty good time considering. What was really neat is you skirted all the rain. Yeah, I only got Bad nipped luck. just a couple times. That was it. Yeah, you were great. Torrential downpour for two seconds. And with a hot blast of air after that, yeah. it dries car right out. What do you think? Is it severe here or what? Is it, is it humid here? Then? Oh, God, yeah. This is how it's been in Pensacola the last couple okay, days, so actually. You're, you're about the same weather as we are right yeah. here. Right now, anyway. Last week, it was actually not too bad. And the yeah. week before that, it was really nice. Well, we've been melting here pretty bad. It's uh, been mid-80s and humid. Like, humidity has been like 80% plus. And then when at night, it goes to Soup. Yeah, I'm soaked so, through my clothes right now. Anything that's exposed metal, kiss a goodbye. If you don't have phosphoric acid on or you don't have an epoxy, you're done. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> rust the next day. Believe me, we fight it. Eleanor, my baby girl. Oh, man. <laughs> Well, we had one very, very successful trip of getting Eleanor all the way down to Cocoa, Florida. 
where Earl is at from Classic Car Creations. Very, very happy that we made it here. Uh, not a single mishap. I mean, you guys saw the video. It had barely even rained. I mean, like two seconds of rain here and there, and that was it. We turned out very, very lucky and highly successful that not, it's not a single mishap at all. I mean, I didn't even have any of those uh, situations down on the road where somebody, you know, cuts me off. Or I didn't even yell once, which is quite amazing. Yeah, you can't get on Florida roads, especially around the vacation spots, without yelling at some idiot on the road. But yeah, this was one such trip. Anyways, thanks you guys for watching. Really do appreciate it. Licky, likey, comment, subscribe. Duckshit.net forward slash CCC so you could subscribe to Earl so you continue to get updates on Eleanor. If you don't subscribe to him, you're not going to see it. So if you start coming to my channel and you're asking, hey, where's your Beetle Project? It's over here. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe to Earl. Thanks a lot, you guys. We'll see you next time. Well, we're back. Obviously, Eleanor made it safely down to Earl's Classic Car Creations. If you haven't already subscribed, you need to. Duckshit.net forward slash CCC. Earl will be working on it. Now, you're probably wondering, what happened in the beginning of the video? A disaster! That was purely a fabrication entirely done by me just to troll the trolls. I figured, let's pay a trick on those little bastards because they love to post up on my YouTube all the time that either I'm doing something wrong, or I don't know what I'm doing, or I'm going to have a complete disaster. So down below in the video comments, look for those little assholes and make sure you give them a piece of your mind for not watching the video to its entirety and deciding to make fun of me right off the bat. That's what it's all about. It was just a joke and it's not meant to get me more views. It's not about money. It wasn't about anything like that at all. It was just about disrupting the people that disrupt. So, yep, what I'll probably wind up doing in the future is I'll use the YouTube editor just to clip the ends off of this video, because again, this was not about pulling in additional views. It was not about the money. It just wasn't like that at all. I just wanted to uh, prove to people, once again, that there are assholes out there, and I'm a dick, so I'll f*** you right in the sh**, you asshole. Anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. Really appreciate it. As always, oh, one more thing. Ha <laughs> ha! In that video, you might notice when the uh, trailer is up against the wall of the bridge, I panned over to the right. I bet you're wondering what was off to the right. Well, let me show you. Oh my god. No way. No way.